day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. It's pretty windy today but I'll try to talk over it. Our first shell find is right down here. Let's take a look at it. This guy, this guy, there we go. Woo, he's got some funky colours. Just gonna knock off a bit of that white stuff, he'll be as good as new. Next up, doesn't that one look good right there? Yep, yep, looks empty, looks like it's just rocks in there. Got ourselves a very, very pretty crowned cone. I just saw that crab trying to get into this trumpet before it tumbled down the sand, so I reckon, I reckon this one's an empty one. Maybe, probably. <laughs> there we go, we've got ourselves our first Spangler's trumpet today. Uh, last time I found quite a lot, so let's see how many I can find this time as well. Oh, I didn't even see him before I stepped over. Oh my goodness, isn't that a pretty snakehead? I nearly thought that big orange one was a rock. There are lots of orange rocks around here, but it's got some stripes on it. Whoa! Whoa, that's awesome! Yeah, I got myself a lovely spotted deer cowrie. Oh my goodness, once again, I am very sorry for all that wind, everyone. Wow, I just really like how it's got like a nice dark orange colour on top. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, sweet baby butt shells, everyone. Look at that. Oh, my God, it's empty. Would you get a load of this cool kind of ruski? Oh, my goodness. Um... This cone is either going to be uh, maybe a livid cone or a bloodletting cone, I'd say. Oh my goodness, what a fantastic find. Very, very nice. Very nice condition too. Oh yeah, yeah, that one, oh it does look good. It is a very nice conical moon snail. Yes, look at it, I can already see it How's the tip. Oh, there we go. Wow, this one is really, really discolored. Um, I don't think a bleach bath will solve that. I think it's like been in the oxidized sand too much or something like that. But oh yeah, that is a lovely whole zebra volute. Right up on the shore now, before I go to the other side of the lighthouse, we have, yep, a lovely bit of this lace coral. Oh, pretty. That looks like a very nice one. Goodness me, I like that blue colour on it. Yeah, it's a lovely blue and red commercial scallop. I found a few similar last time, but I just, I don't know, I just like the colour of that one the most so far. Oh, what is that? Do you have a crab in you? No, you don't. Are you kidding? Look at this thing. Uh, some kind of triton shell. For some reason, I, when I find ones that are sort of similar, they're a lot squatter in shape. So this one's just a bit unusual. Um, maybe a shoulder triton, maybe something else, but goodness, I like that one quite a lot. I just picked up that triton. I didn't even see this one. Let's take a look. Oh, it is whole. Oh, yeah, I don't see a crab in there either. Very nice. Got myself a lovely checkered bonnet right here. Oh my goodness, would you look at that beauty just sitting there? Oh my god! Wow, it's whole, it's empty, and look at that lovely deep color it's got. Yeah, no cracks or anything in it, it looks really nice. It's a pretty spectacular banded bonnet. Oh wait, there could be a little missing right at the edge there, but oh, doesn't that look good? Hello, hello. I wasn't about to miss that pop of colour. It's a good one. Look at that beautiful prickly spotted droop shell. I feel like it's been quite a while since I found one of these. They're just absolutely gorgeous and fantastic seashells. Oh, is that whole? I almost stepped over it. Oh my goodness, it is whole. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god, let me stand up and get uh, get the wind behind me. Look at that! I think this is a helmet shell, not a bonnet. Oh my goodness, it's teeny weedy and I love it so much! <laughs> wow! These things 
so not easy to find. I can't believe I got a teeny weeny one. Are you, uh, what's that? Is that something gross right there? What is that? No, is that part of the shell? Oh, it is part of the shell. Are you, oh, it's a nice one. I'm sorry, let me just boop off that snail real quick. I'm sorry, snail. There you go, buddy. Wow, it is just full of sand. Wow, look at that. It's got like a big damaged chip right in it right there. Um, I think the snail corrected it uh, and then tried to keep going because it's got a really funny mouth right there. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. I'm not actually saying what it is. <laughs> it is a gorgeous giant hairy triton shell. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Would you get a load of the size of this crown cone? What? That's absolutely spectacularly huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks like a very, very nice Arosa shell. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it does look good. It looks kind of flat, actually. What a strange Arosa. What an absolutely lovely calorie. And, oh, yes. Yes, there is a moon snail next to it. Moon snail number one today. Goodness, would you look at that? Please be whole. <gasps> Oh my god! What? What is this strombus? Oh my goodness, it's whole! What? That looks super spectacular! What the heck? I don't even know which one this is, that's lovely! Oh, jackpot! Freaking jackpot, look at that! <gasps> It's tall and it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is a lovely, um, either a chest, I forget what they're called, their common name. Chestnut banded sand snail or egg white moon snail. Oh, that is super nice. And after my little chestnut banded moon snail, I think that's a big one right here. Ooh, wow, that's a really big moon snail. Look at that moon snail compared to the one I just picked up. It's just a massive difference. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at that one. This one, let's take a look at you. You are... Oh, he's a big fella. Oh, I almost never picked these up because they're never in that good condition. But this guy is really freaking cool. He's a type of serif cone. Um, I, I forget what his common name is, like a Herculean club whelk or something like that. Yes? Oh, yes, that's a nice one. It's gone very white. I wonder if it's like slightly sun bleached or if it's, ro it's white normally. Anyway, it is a banded bonnet, a very white one too. Oh, what a lucky find right on top. <gasps> yeah. Look at that little guy. It is a yellow serif cone. Very nice, I've only ever found one or two others and they were like mature ones, like twice the size. This one's just a little juvenile and he's lovely. Oh my goodness. I see good things over here, first of all. Yes, the Arosa is always first of all. That is a beauty. Second of all, that's not whole. That's oh, it's not whole. Big piece of a of a textile cone though. What I was so oh, this is heavy. oh my god! There is a little uh, magnificent bullet with the tip here. It's missing most of itself. But look at this one. <gasps> wow! Oh my goodness, everyone! I have never found one of these. I don't even know what it's called, but look at how amazing it is. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Oh, and what's this one? Are you whole? Oh, you are whole, a Spangler's trumpet. Oh my goodness, this was a goody hole, wasn't it? This one. Oh yeah, this one. Unlike these, they're, um, they're a Cook's Mitra. Very nice little shell. Oh, what's this one? There's another good Arosa in here. Oh, that one looks like it's gonna dry as a gem one. 
It looks so shiny. It's, it can go with my first eraser. There's just too many things in my hand. I just saw a little bonnet get smashed. Oh, can I pick that before the next wave? This one. Oh, yeah. Up, 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 up. Oh, yeah, just a little checkered bonnet. What a cutie. There is a textile cone there. Oh, my goodness. I can't see it. I can't see it. I don't want to pick it up if it's a live one. Oh, it looks empty. It looks empty. I'm just going for it. Oh, yes. Yes, it has the tip. There's just rocks in there. There's no snail that can kill you in three minutes in there. Oh, my goodness. That must have just washed up. Wow, that's going to be one of my best condition textile cones. Oh, and it just want to disappear just like that. Wow. Wow! Oh, he's got a big hole in the top of him, but wow! I'm having strombus luck today of all things! Would you get a load of that cute one? Oh my goodness! You could like stick a little cord through the uh, through the hole there in the opening and make it into a really awesome necklace. Um, I'm not quite sure what this strombus is. It could be, I mean, it doesn't quite look like a, a Campbell's strombus. The lip looks way too small for that. Oh, it's just very cool. Oh, doesn't that one look shiny? I don't usually go for too many bivalves, but oh my goodness, that's lovely. No, it's not a Sunray Venus. We don't get them in Australia. It's something quite similar though. Oh, there's just two very, very lovely crowned cones right here. Yeah, they're super lovely. Very big moon snail. Yeah! Oh my goodness, that is a lovely big guy! Wonderful moon snail! Okay everyone, fun fact for you all. I don't actually put these uh, moon snails full name up on screen because I kind of hate it. Um, it is the bladder moon snail. It makes it sound like it wants to go to the toilet all the time. Ooh, this one. Oh, he's a little mini guy. I mean, I have no idea what he is. But he looks pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I like this mini. Never found one of these before. But my goodness, if I didn't look down and watch my step, I would not have seen that. Wow, are you whole? Whoa! Oh my god, it is whole. Are you kidding? Wow! Wow! Look at the colors on that. It's got some like sand, like encrusted on it. Like that, when sand goes hard, it kind of like builds into like a cement sort of thing. It's definitely done that in some areas on here. But oh my goodness, look at this big whole abalone shell. That's an absolutely beautiful one too. Beautiful and big for what I would find here. I believe it's the braziest abalone. Whoa, doesn't that just catch your eye being all black and white amongst the browns and greens? Hello, are you, are you, oh no, you're, oh, you're not occupied. Yes. Wow! Would you get a load of this Hebrew cone? Oh my goodness, zero cleanup required on this guy. He looks like he's just out of a bleach bath. He's fantastic! So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. But of course, we've come to the end of the day and it's time to talk about a favorite. So please, I know it's hard, but let me know which ones were your favorites as well down in the comments. We had a spectacular day at this really, really low tide level. I couldn't believe it. Lots of rare things that I just usually would not find. I found a gorgeous textile cone. I found this beautiful chestnut banded sand snail, a gorgeous little helmet shell, an amazing strombus, couple of shiny roses. Got myself one of these, the uh, blood stained cone, absolutely wonderful. Lots of bonnets, a hairy triton, another strombus, couple of seraphs. It's just been a fantastic day all around. So how can I possibly pick a favorite? I can't, okay? There is, this is legitimately one of those days where I have about five favorites. First up, probably the overall favorite. I mean, it's front and center for a reason. I really, really like this strombus shell. I'm not 100% sure which type of strombus it is, but oh my goodness, it's just lovely. Love that shape, it's just uh, wonderful. Love this textile cone. 
I don't know, it's in a lot nicer condition than I thought it was. Look at how it shines in the light. I mean, it's a pretty overcast day, but look how it shines. Very, very nice. Absolutely adore this uh, this blood uh, blood stained cone. I keep getting the name wrong. I probably am wrong. It's going to clean up very nicely to remove the last of its outer layer. It just has an excellent condition about it. Absolutely wonderful. And I guess I can pick one more favorite. I'm going to pick this one. My little orange dude. No idea what he is. I just think he's fantastic. I've seen him in a seashell book once or twice. Anyway. Those were my not so few picks for the favorites. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.